Hi, this is Mr. Pence from TapCritic.com, and today we're going to look at QuickOffice for the iPhone and the iPod Touch. Uh, QuickOffice, basically what it does, it allows you to create and edit uh, uh, Word documents and Excel documents. It's, this is a really great application, and I'd like to just step you through some of its features. Uh, the first thing you see when you launch the application is you have a little settings area over here. And you get some really cool things here. You've got uh, file transfers, you can turn on and off. And that basically is if you want to transfer files via Wi-Fi. And uh, I'll show you how all that works in a second. You've got a file cache. And basically you can set uh, the cache size that you want the files to live here on your iPhone. Uh, you've got a passcode lock, a disable sleep, and the add attachment, which is a really cool feature. Uh, and if you look over here, you can actually add locations to where QuickOffice looks for files. Uh, you can add an, an account, a mobile me account, which works incredible. And I'll show you that feature here in a little bit. And you can also add a public folder on a network or from the cloud, which is really neat. Um, so the first thing let's do, let's look at some of the sample files QuickOffice sent for this review. And uh, first thing we'll look at here is let's look at a Word document. And if you look right here, it's called Quick Office Doc. Takes it just about a second to load here. And, you know, Quick Office is really awesome. You know, I don't think you'll be editing, I don't think you'll be creating a ton of documents with Quick Office, but I do think uh, what you'll be doing is carrying your documents with you. And if you need to do some quick changes or some formatting, uh, Quick Office will be that application for you. You know, currently there's not a really awesome uh, Word or Excel editor for the iPhone, and I think Quick Office is that application. So we've opened up in this, this document. If you look down here on the screen, you've got some little icons. And if you look here, uh, you can take your text and make it bold, italic. You can change your font color. Uh, you can highlight your text, and you can change your font. Uh, this here actually allows you to add bullet points and you see it's added a bullet point at the top there it's really cool I'm gonna go ahead and skip over here and this is our undo and redo and if I undo that you see our bullet point has, bullet point has disappeared uh, this brings up your keyboard and this is cut copy paste and delete something that we haven't really seen before on the iPhone the copy and paste um, but what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna add uh, a little uh, text here and what I'm going to do is actually turn it into landscape mode and as you see here I'm going to double click this and a keyboard come up, comes up and we're just going to put this is a The one thing I don't like is with every iPhone application, you're able to hit double space and a period comes up. Uh, with Quick Office, it doesn't, and I'm hoping they will fix that in the future. But it's still pretty neat, uh, nevertheless, to be able to edit a, a Word document here. So I'm done, uh, and it's added the, the type there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change some of the. Um, I'm going to change this to uh, uh, bold, and I want to change the color. So I'm going to double tap, as you see, a little highlight areas come up here. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to change this to an italic. It's already bold. So now it's italic. I'm going to change the font color. And we're going to change this to, let's try a purple. And I'm actually going to change the font format. We're going to change it to, I don't know, let's go to a Helvetica. 24. So there you go. Now I'm going to go here and I'm actually going to copy this. And we're going to go down here somewhere. And let's go, let's actually go right here. And let's go here. Let's add a couple little carriage returns. Now let's go back up here. Hit done, and now we're going to hit paste, and voila.
it's there, it's shown up. Um, I do love the selection of text, which is really cool. Uh, you just double click it and you bring it up and you've got these little, little pins. And at any time you can, you know, do whatever you want. We can take this italic off, uh, take this bold off, and we can change our, you know, font color again. Um, so a really, really, really unique way of editing text uh, and changing your font type and, and so on and so forth. Okay, I know a lot of you are asking, well, how do you, you know, with regular iPhone applications, you have a little uh, little magnifying glass that comes up and shows you where you're typing. This is sort of like that. You just sort of touch the screen here. I'll try it again. Touch the screen here and it comes up and there you go. And now you can see you can move wherever exactly where you want to go within your, uh, within your document. So if you wanted to go over here and uh, change this word, we can now do that, which is pretty cool. Uh, the one complaint that I have is, actually the two, is the space for the period, the double space for the period. And right now there is no uh, uh, spelling check or any kind of spelling correction within QuickOffice uh, document. That's something I'd like to see down the road, um, definitely in a future update. And I'm sure the folks at QuickOffice will, they're on that already. So that is, that is a document portion of uh, Quick Office. And now I'd like to go to um, an Excel spreadsheet. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to go to Expense Planner. And once again, it just takes a second to load. And you can zoom out by pinching and, and you know, uh, pulling and all that. And if you look over here, uh, here's our expense item. Here's our monthly amount. And here's some numbers. Uh, the screen updates really quickly. And once again, down here, you've got everything. You've got your bold, italic, font color. You can actually change the cell background color, which is really cool. Um, here you have your number format, which is pretty awesome. And, you know, here you can change between uh, your different sheets that you have open. Um, this is pretty cool. I mean, look at this. Insert columns to the left, insert columns to the right, insert rows above, insert rows below. And it works pretty quick too. I'll just show you here real quick. I'm going to highlight this cell and I'm going to select this. I'm going to insert rows below and boom, it's inserted another row. And then obviously over here is our undo and redo. But once again, this is it. You turn to landscape mode again and you've got everything here, which is pretty awesome. Um, it moves really quickly. I'm going to take it back to our regular view here. And let's just show you how this changes really quickly. Uh, right now, uh, we've got a total of, you know, 1355. Uh, we're going to go to our gas bill and change this to, um, let's say, $200. I do wish the numbers would come up first, but that's, once again, just another little complaint. But, you know, everything works great with this. And see, it's automatically updated our, uh, our totals here, which is really, really awesome. So that's a quick look at Quick Office Mobile Office Suite. In part two of our review, we're going to show you how to email these documents, and we're going to show you how to set up a MobileMe Disk account, which works incredible. And we're also going to show you how to manage your files via Wi-Fi and a web browser. So stay tuned. <laughs>